you know, sometimes when you're walking around CES, you find a product that you didn't hear about, but it wows you so much to the point that it almost immediately becomes your favorite piece of technology for the entire year. That was the case when I stumbled upon the Hypershell Exoskeleton, a consumer-ready exoskeleton for average level fitness such as jogging or hiking. Now being that I couldn't just walk by without seeing more of this device, I got to talk with Brandon Brewer, the channel sales manager, for more information on this product. So what you're looking at is the Hypershell product. I don't know if they can see this here in the background. I know some people say it looks like night vision goggles, but essentially what it is, uh, this goes around your waist. So we have two motors here, and we have our limb here, and that's going to lift up your leg and just make running, climbing, and hiking a little bit easier. Uh, about 30% easier based on uh, some of our, our testing. Now, as Brandon mentioned, a lot of companies already have products that are similar to the Hypershell that were developed for medical or even military use. This product came out of wanting to provide that same benefit, but to consumers. From what I understand, the founders are avid hikers, and they're also big into new technology and emerging tech. And they see that the exoskeleton field in that area is really built around manufacturers, and it's for military use, weight load restriction and management, right? But they believe that they want to get tech like this out to the normal person. So we make it as accessible as possible and focus on increasing that endurance for the standard person. One thing I had to point out is that both when they were suiting up people who were demoing the product and when they were suiting me up, it took another person to help the wearer get into this. And I was wondering if this was going to be a problem once it got into the hands of consumers. Yeah, so we definitely help the user get it on because it does make it easier, right, when you've never worn it. It's like a pair of new shoes, let's say without the straps. Like first you look at it and you go, I don't even know what to do. But it's only three straps, right? So you, you pick it up, you put it around your waist just like you would a tool belt. Once you strap that in, you're pretty good to go. The only thing you got to do is the two leg straps, and those are pretty easy. You just bring it around to the front, strap it in, and you're all set. Being this is a battery powered device, you really have to be aware of how far you can go before the device just stops running. The way Hypershell measures battery life is in both distance you can travel at an average speed, but also the top speed that it can assist at. Yeah, that battery power on, the, uh, on our entry level model that's going to launch at 599 has, I think it's about a 400 watt, so it'll get you up to, what is that, uh, about 12 miles per hour for assistance, and then our mid-level and our high-end level, uh, those are going to have an 800 watt battery that'll get you about, I want to say 15 miles per hour for assistance, of course. 15 miles per hour or 15 miles a like? 15 miles per hour. So in terms of distance, uh, or for, for battery life, we're going to measure that in distance because it's it depends on the rotation and how much power is consumed, right? So at a brisk walking pace, about 10 miles on the battery. As Brandon mentioned, the entry level price will be $599, but there is a higher end version that comes at $1299, providing more benefits and an improved hardware setup. The high end is $1299. Yes, sir. And that's because we take it from the aluminum alloy and we set it into a carbon fiber model instead. Uh, we also put it with the battery that is included in the mid-range version uh, that's rated up to negative 20 degrees Celsius. And that way we kind of diminish the loss in cold temperatures from the battery, right, because there's phantom loss or, or whatever the technical term is for it, right? But we help diminish that and reduce that, uh, that expenditure. Um, something else we do is we get rid of the nylon because nylon, right, you sweat, it freezes to you in the cold and it kind of sucks right it's very uncomfortable so with that carbon fiber version we go to Gore-Tex which is a higher quality more durable fabric built for those harsh conditions if you were a backer in Kickstarter you're going to get it in sometime in uh, I want to say early April yes sir and June is when it will go public for everyone yep on uh, hypershell.cc for now and again I'm, I'm trying to find out some more avenues we can get it out to everybody so in the end don't be surprised if you see me trotting around San Francisco wearing this come the summer it's one more thing that can make me feel like Iron Man.